Hey guys, welcome back. So finally, MIA2 Lite users have something to smile about. A stable version of Android 10 has been deployed. I've been using it for a few days now and my phone hasn't bricked yet, thankfully. Honestly, I was starting to think that Xiaomi had decided not to give us this update after that failed update, which was breaking phones. And I'm sure that's the reason why many Xiaomi Mi A2 Lite users might be holding off on upgrading to Android 10, but I've been using it for a few days and I haven't had any issues except when I was upgrading, the device crashed a few times. I'm not sure why, but ever since then, I haven't had any issues. The upgrading process was the usual. The whole process took about 15 minutes. The upgrade is just over a gig. And that was a nervy 15 minutes for me. I'll speed it up for, you, for your sake. So the big question is, what has changed? Taking a quick glance, of the system upgrade screen, we see that there's a new dark theme, new gesture navigation, enhanced privacy and security controls, as well as an FM radio app from Qualcomm. Now let's get into some of these features in more detail. But before you do that, if you're new to the channel, please help the channel out by subscribing. And if you do eventually end up liking the video, press that thumbs up button. So before you even get into the device, you see changes on the lock screen. There's a new lock icon which unlocks when you use your fingerprint. Obviously something which was borrowed from Apple. Once in the device, one thing you'll quickly notice are the improved haptics. Way better than on Android 9. Even when you're typing, there's actually proper feedback. That's one of the features that I, I like about this upgrade. The vibration when you get notifications as well has also improved. And just like I indicated earlier, Xiaomi's FM radio app has been replaced by Qualcomm's. The Wi-Fi icon, network reception icons at the top have also been upgraded. That's the first thing you see on this update. On the Wi-Fi icon at the top, there's a 4 written next to my particular version. And uh, I was uh, searching online, it seems to indicate the version of Wi-Fi that I'm using. So if you're using Wi-Fi 6, you probably see a 6 next to the icon for the Wi-Fi as well. When navigating, one thing that they changed, which is so subtle but adds a lot to the user experience are the animations, especially when you're opening and closing apps or moving in between apps. Navigation gestures as well have been updated. You have the three options to choose from, the standard three button layout, which is on every Android phone out there, a two button mode which was on the previous version and a new gesture mode this one offers a full experience i didn't have any difficulties getting used to it but basically swiping from the left of the display takes you back to the previous screen swiping from the right takes you to the preceding screen and if there's nothing there it will take you back to the home page swiping from the bottom takes you to the home page as well and swiping from the bottom and holding opens recent apps the benefit for me here is that you get more screen real estate and that is something that's welcome. Android 10 on the Mi A2 Lite also comes with security in mind. Unlike in the previous versions where security and location were bundled together in the same menu, with Android 10, location, privacy and security have their own separate menus. In the notification drawer, Mi A2 Lite users have more control on which notifications they would like to see and there's an option of silencing notifications individually. That's something that is welcome again in Android 10. That's a feature that I like as well. The Android 10 update also comes with a new app called Capping. I'm not sure what this is all about, but if you don't want it, there's an option to delete it. I'm not even sure what it is used for because it's written in a foreign, in a foreign language. And for some reason in the settings menu, there's also an option to customize your pixel. What? Perhaps the star of the show has to be the system-wide dark mode. This is truly the dark mode we've all been waiting for. The new dark theme on the Xiaomi Mi A2 Lite affects everything, notifications and apps as well. It's actually a very good upgrade. This is one of the standout features for me in Android 10. 
All right, so the camera as well, I've seen uh, not just an icon change, but uh, there are subtle changes in the camera app. Uh, for the most part, uh, the camera takes good images in the right conditions. As well as the video, the video is EIS. It shoots uh, 1080p up to 60 frames, which is ideal. But once again, in dark situations, don't expect anything outstanding from it. In the short time that I've had this update, the device is noticeably faster, but in terms of battery usage, nothing has really changed. This is obviously the last major update that Xiaomi Mi 2 Lite users will be getting. Let me know your experience if you've already upgraded. Leave a comment down in the section below. Otherwise, see you in the next video.